From where I stand, the ground slopes in all directions. I came here earlier this year while the field lay fallow, and I stood waist high in the long grass. From where I stand, I have a clear view to all points of reference. On softer ground, I gather momentum, and there is a rhythm to my steps. It is a rhythm conducive to reveries, each step lands in the print of other footsteps and I remember walking in other fields along other bridleways with muddy tracks and overhanging branches. A shadow crosses the sky. The barn is a cathedral, the path a vaulted aisle dark, musty interior. Through its organic tracery I catch a glimpse of a distant field. I recognise this field as I recognise all fields which return to haunt me. Sunlight filters through the arc of branches. The sun feels warm on my back. Branches drape the air across the entrance of a hollow. The leaves are brushed by many shoulders, shredded edges. I step through thorns into a darkening path as feet sink into the mud, leaving an echo of my passing as I listen out for those who have gone before me. The air is still. Nothing stirs. Red flag limp amongst the verdure. No wind to disturb its sails. Crunching gravel underfoot, I kick at loose stones and follow my shadow. My nose is filled with the scent of wood smoke, chamomile and cow parsley. The smell of pine from a fir plantation sweeps across the valley, a great surge of verdant miles. Four ways meet at a five-bar gate. Of three remaining options, two must be discarded. I take the only one that ascends and takes me past the acorn post. Unlikely as it is to ever grow branches and spread a canopy, I wonder if it is merely directional, or a monument perhaps to the hills and valleys once covered in oak and beech. The last surviving clumps become landmarks, crowning the tops of hills. Looking back, one affords a distant view of Deacon Hill, further off St. Catherine's. Far away a dog barks, further still a skylark, invisible but audible. The South Downs Way runs like an artery through the hills of the southern counties an ancient highway. I feel the blood rush in my veins as I align myself through Hampshire and Sussex. This chalk ridge terminates abruptly, not at a gate or the scar of tarmac, but at the sea. Yet among these gentle undulations there are thorns and nettles. Barbed wire is a hazard, much as rocks and stones are, but these I put behind me as the clump the triangulation point, and my thoughts all come into focus. <laughs> 